This video is about Amazon attribution and uh, our guest is Joe from Perpetua. You will find the links in the description with more videos with, about Perpetua and with Perpetua. But um, in this uh, session, Joe will explain how Amazon attribution works and how to analyze it and to improve your sales uh, by adding tags to your digital campaigns. And uh, this kind of advertising, Amazon sellers were running for a while, but until now there was no really a solution for uh, brand registered sellers to analyze the um, impact of outside Amazon ran ads, the impact on Amazon performance. So uh, watch this video and also draw will explain what Perpetua has to offer for Amazon sellers in terms of Amazon attribution. So um, before you watch this video, don't forget to subscribe below to the YouTube channel of Orange Click because here we talk with different Amazon experts and uh, software creators. And if you want to try Perpetua, make sure that you check the link below in the description. <music> Hi Joseph, it's great to have you here again on Orange Click channel. So uh, for the viewers who are not familiar with you uh, yet, could you please introduce yourself and tell us what you do in the Amazon space? Yeah, of course, it's great to, uh, great to be back. Um, so I'm Joe with Perpetua. Uh, Perpetua is an optimization and enablement tool for all things Amazon advertising. And for those that are curious as well, all things Instacart advertising uh, very recently. So basically what we try and do as a software platform is to make your investments in e-commerce ads and most specifically Amazon ads as seamless and simple as possible. But we don't want you to sacrifice any of the sophistication. So we've built a lot of really easy to use features that make sure that you're, you're running very sophisticated campaigns, getting the best results, but not spending all of your time worrying about bid prices and keywords. You're focusing more on the higher level strategies of your ad campaigns. And that's what our software is designed to do. Awesome. And today you will open up the topic of Amazon attribution beta for us. So I know you have slides for us as well. So let's go straight into that. Yeah, let's do it. I'll share my screen now. So uh, Amazon attribution. Uh, so one of the one of the big topics uh, for a very long time and not necessarily so so recently and specific to the world of Amazon attribution has been for everybody who runs ads on Facebook or on Google or on Pinterest or now recently on TikTok and a bunch of these other platforms. Uh, when you're driving that traffic to your Amazon store or one of your Amazon listing pages, you don't really get to see exactly what happens. You get to see once they get to, once they click on your ad. So you'll have that information usually from whichever uh, ad unit you're investing in. But then once they get there, you have no idea exactly as to, as to what's going on. So basically what Amazon attribution in its most simple form, and we'll get into more details on it, is, is it allows you to understand how your off Amazon advertising spend is impacting your Amazon performance. And so what I want to talk about today is exactly how you can drive sales on Amazon using Amazon's attribution. We'll speak more about exactly what it is. And then given that I've already shared a little bit about what Perpetua is and how we're a software platform, we've built a really simple to use tool that allows you to build Google search ads right in Perpetua and then also have those Google search ads drive to either one of your Amazon listings or your Amazon brand store. And you can get all of the holistic data in terms of how many, all of the metrics on, the, on your Google ads performance, as well as a bunch of new metrics that are specific to Amazon's attribution beta that are going to allow you to see, you know, add to carts after someone has clicked on your ad, um, cost per detail page view, all of these uh, additional metrics that you wouldn't get if you were just driving traffic from your uh, Google, Google search ad directly to your Amazon listing. Um, so really quickly, uh, again, just who Perpetua is, we give superpowers to anyone who sells online. Where we really try and make this come together is this idea of strategy, tactics, and performance in a wheel. We think that if you're managing your ads on Amazon directly, typically you're going to have a, a bit of a gap between strategy and tactics, and then as well between tactics and performance. And what that means is that your strategy might be something as simple as when somebody searches my brand name on Amazon. I want to ensure that my products show up at the top of search. 
it's not a very easy setup in Amazon to get that up and running very simply. And then even if you do, you're measuring performance off of things like sales and ACOS and spend, which aren't necessarily telling you exactly how you're performing. So uh, in short, what we're trying to do at Perpetua is bring you all of the simple levers so that you can easily just click a few buttons to create a campaign for branded keywords. And then when you're measuring performance, you can also look into things like how your keyword, how you rank on your branded keywords organically, how much of page one is covered with your products. And you don't need to focus on the actual tactics of selecting your bid prices and updating them. That's, that's what Perpetua brings to the table. So this is, uh, it looks like a very simple graph, uh, but I want to explain a little bit more exactly what it means and why I show it. Um, it's this idea of, of what does optimization actually look like? And so uh, on the y-axis of this graph, you see utility, which utility could be anything, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But on the, on the x-axis, you see ad spend. And I think most sellers can resonate with this is that there comes a point where as you invest more and more in your ad dollars, the return you get back becomes less and less over time. You eventually get to a point where if you spend another dollar on ads, you might not get the exact return that you got earlier on when you were investing in ads. And so what this graph is showing is that, you know, as you go from, let's say 10 to $20 in ad spend for a certain product, um, your utility might increase from three to eight. So it might increase by five, let's say, but then the same increase from 70 to 80 in ad spend might only get you an increase in utility of one. And utility could be sales. It could be uh, new brand purchases. Uh, it could be impressions. It could be page views all of these ideas of what actually is utility. It really depends on how you, how you measure your performance. But in general, what we're trying to um, highlight is that how much you get back from your ads differs depending on how much you're investing over time in the life cycle of your products. To further complicate that, you have ad spend on many different platforms. So what utility looks like on Amazon, so what your performance looks like on Amazon, you might grade it based off of ACoS, but then when you're investing in ads on Instagram or Snapchat or Google ads or YouTube, whatever it is, you might measure that performance very differently. You might be focusing just on page views of your product. Uh, you might be focusing only on new to brand page views for your product. Whatever these different metrics are, it's very different in terms of how you're measuring performance across each different uh, ad platform that you're investing in. So this is where the Amazon attribution beta comes in and when it becomes so critical for uh, sellers to be using it effectively. So as I mentioned, what it is, is it's a measurement solution that enables brands who sell on Amazon to better understand that impact of all of their ad spend off of Amazon, how it impacts their Amazon performance. And all it involves is adding attribution tags to the digital campaigns that you're running off of Amazon. And what it allows you to see then is holistic performance. So if you have an ad, uh, a Google search that's driving to your Amazon store, you now get to see all of the metrics that you would get from, from uh, Google ads, Google search ads, and then as well as all of the metrics specifically related to Amazon. So you can actually see how much did I get in sales? How much did I get in purchases? How many um, people added my product to cart, et cetera, et cetera. And then who can use it? It's available for uh, vendors and sellers who have brand registry in the US and Canada and uh, all five major marketplaces in the EU. Um, and, and so what it really looks like is this total conversion optimization um, from Instagram, Facebook, Google, Pinterest, like we said, and trying to understand the full consideration path. And so one of the uh, myths actually about how Amazon's attribution beta works is that you have to drive the traffic to your Amazon store. So if you're a seller who also has your own store through let's say Shopify or whoever else it is, um, you can actually dr still drive that traffic to your Shopify store, add an attribution tag. And so that if somebody clicks on your ad, goes to your Shopify store, and then a couple days later goes and buys your product on Amazon, you still get to see exactly the path uh, of that shopper and understand, okay, even though I was running this campaign and it drove traffic to my Shopify store, I can see how many of those people that clicked on it and went to my Shopify store actually ended up buying my product on Amazon or viewing my page on Amazon, maybe comparing price or adding my product to cart on Amazon and then eventually ab abandoning that cart and not buying it. 
And so what the attribution tag still allows you to do is to uh, understand no matter where you're driving that traffic, how Amazon plays a role overall. So what are, what are some of the benefits of, of Amazon's attribution beta? So I think one of the things that gets shared a lot historically is this idea and the, the numbers always seem to change, but it's always some number higher than 50% of product searches start on Amazon. One article might say 55% of product searches now start on Amazon. Another will say 62% of product searches now start on Amazon. So, uh, I think there can sometimes be this false sense of security that as long as you're advertising on Amazon where people are searching primarily, you're going to be in good shape. The reality is though, that a lot of the, the rest of people start their product searches somewhere else. They, pro they might start them on Google search. Uh, they might use Google shopping, whatever it is. Um, and so it's really important that you're advertising effectively in those spaces. I always like to highlight, well, what are a few of the benefits uh, of Amazon attribution? First is that many people know this already, but Amazon operates as a flywheel, which means the more that you drive traffic to your page, the more you're getting in sales, the more that's going to improve your ranking on Amazon over time, the more that's going to drive down the cost of your sponsored ads over time. And so every time that you're investing, no matter where it is on Amazon or off Amazon, no matter anytime you're investing to drive your sales on Amazon, to drive your page views on Amazon, you are better setting your product, better setting yourself up in the future to drive more in product sales. Additionally, uh, you'll be able to own more real estate on the search engine result page, specifically if you're running ads on Google search. So maybe you are already spending money driving traffic to your own store. You may still choose to invest as well to get an ad placement for driving traffic to your Amazon store. Some people might say that's insane. Why would you spend money to, to try and get a click both to your own store or also to your Amazon store? And your own store is probably a lot more profitable. So why wouldn't you only focus on that? Um, I think a lot of people can understand in reality that some people will only buy from Amazon. Uh, they might know your product very well, but they trust Amazon. They trust shipping. Um, they trust the reviews on Amazon. They trust that if there's any issue that they're going to get their money back very promptly. And so a lot of the times it's important to have options for your shoppers to be able to, to choose both Amazon or your own store. And as well, it prevents any of your competitors from bidding. Let's say uh, if you're selling an organic coffee bean, uh, you can ensure that you get a placement for both your Shopify store and as well um, your Amazon uh, product listing page. And then lastly, uh, increasing the pool of shoppers to retarget via DSP ads. And this could also be uh, via sponsored display retargeting as well. Um, it's never, it, I, I always like to, to ensure that I'm not naive in these ones. We never wanna be spending more money to try and get a sale than we need to. Um, but Amazon does have very powerful retargeting tools, especially if you're uh, investing in the DSP the way that you can retarget on the DSP is significantly more sophisticated than how you can retarget on a uh, sponsored display. Yes, to a certain degree, you're spending more money to get someone to come back to your, to your listing page, um, but it can be very, very impactful, especially if you're selling a high-priced product where people might take weeks or months to decide if they actually want to purchase your product. Um, and this is, this is exactly what I was sharing about in terms of how there's all these different articles. These are a bunch of different snippets I just took from different articles I found online. And a lot of these articles were, were less than a month old. That's how often things like this get published. Um, and this, this helps to explain why at Perpetua, the first place that we've started to enable Amazon's attribution beta for our software users is on Google search specifically, because where product searches primarily start is Amazon, where they start after Amazon is Google search. So we want to ensure that the software user, that our customers at Perpetua can effectively run Google ads that drive traffic to their Amazon store, given that's the next most likely place that shoppers are going to be searching for products. Um, so I want to share a, a few screenshots um, so that uh, people can see exactly, well, if I were to use Perpetua software, what exactly would I be getting from it or, or exactly how does it work? So if, if anyone has seen a demo of Perpetua or if you are already a, a Perpetua customer, 
you might be familiar with our goal creation flow. And, and a goal allows you to essentially just identify a product or a group of products that you want to start advertising, simply identify a target ACOS and a budget, and then uh, Perpetual will autonomously build your ad campaigns and optimize those ad campaigns for you. We've taken this to the next level because now what we can do is we can directly build Google search ads through our platform. So this is a screenshot from Perpetua. You can select your destination as a product page, and then you can type out exactly what you want your Google search ad to look like. So in this case, it's typed out Jordan shoes, resale hype for retail prices, and then whatever uh, additional ad copy you want to include. All you need to do is identify how much you want to spend as a target ACOS and as a daily budget and Perpetual will autonomously build that Google search ad for you, build it to drive to the direct product page or your brand store as you identify as, as your strategy. And then you don't need to worry about constantly updating the bid prices and finding the right keywords to be bidding on in Google search over time. Perpetua takes care of all of that for you. What's great as well is that one of the most impactful things you can do on Google search is make sure that you're testing out different ad copies and different destinations so that you can see, okay, maybe I have one campaign, but I want to test running it to my brand store page or my product page, or I want to change what the exact copy looks like. You can create a bunch of different destinations in Perpetua. So in here, you can see three different destinations for your Google ad, all part of the same goal. We'll continuously experiment to find out which copy, which destination, which product drives the most amount of traffic um, to, your, to your Amazon page over time. And then where it really all comes together, together is this idea of destination level and keyword level reporting. And why this is super impactful is you can easily see, okay, across all of the different destinations that I'm driving my ad, so if I look at this screenshot on the lower half of the screenshot, one of them goes to my product page. One of them goes to my brand store. Another one goes to a separate product page and a third product page. I can see exactly how much I'm spending, how much I'm driving in sales, what I'm getting as an ACOS on all of these destinations. And it takes into account, you can see it in the top half here, your sales are coming from Amazon, your spend is going towards Google, and then we're measuring your ACoS and Perpetua across all of that spend uh, and sales across both Google and, and Amazon's ad platform. And the last thing to highlight, and, and uh, my, in my personal opinion, by far the most impactful, is keyword level reporting across platforms. So if you're already running your ads on Amazon through Perpetua, We'll have all of the uh, keyword data that we need to understand exactly what works well for your product. You can easily identify, okay, if I'm selling Nike uh, athletic shoes, I can understand when someone searches Nike athletic shoes on Amazon versus on Google, how much do I spend on each platform? What's my conversion rate on each platform? What's my click-through rate? Perpetua is autonomously going to be optimizing those bid prices for you across both platforms. And then you can easily take advantage of our reporting, which is going to allow you to understand where do I perform best on Google? Where do I perform best on Amazon? Where should I be investing more on one of the two platforms? And holistically, what really matters and what we're really trying to ensure that you're doing is that wherever your shoppers are, wherever the people are that want to buy your product, that you get in front of them where it matters. You get in front of them on Google, you get in front of them on Amazon, uh, and you don't need to worry about spending all of your time trying to understand exactly what's happening. You can leverage Amazon's attribution beta. You can leverage Perpetual software and build it out that way. And that's it for me. Uh, I, I hope it was really uh, impactful. I hope that, the, that everyone feels that they have a better understanding of how uh, Amazon's attribution beta works and hopefully have some ideas on how they might start spending money on Google or Instagram or Facebook ads, drive that traffic to their Amazon page and get a better grip on exactly what's happening. Great. Thank you so much. At least I'm super excited about the topic, although I don't know much about Amazon attribution myself. So I think you made a great job uh, doing the presentation. So uh, perhaps first, generally speaking, when do you think, in your opinion, when it's the right time for Amazon sellers to start driving uh, external traffic to their Amazon uh, store or, or product pages? Yeah, for sure. So I think that there's no necessarily right or wrong answer, but I always like to bring it back to one of those earlier slides I showed that said, when you start to continue to invest in ads over time, specifically on Amazon, let's say you've always been running sponsored product ads, 
over time, as you invest more and more money, you're going to get less and less back in sales. That's a really good indicator that you might be better served for your next ad dollar to be spent on some form of external traffic driving to your Amazon page, rather than continuing to try and spend money on Amazon and trying to get better and better return. There eventually gets to a point where you can't get any better of a return by spending another dollar. The other thing I'll highlight as well is that it could be that as soon as you start selling on Amazon, you choose you choose to start leveraging Amazon's attribution because you know that I can't just invest on Amazon ads to be successful. I sell a product that I need to be finding people. I need to be making people aware about my brand and my product on Facebook and Instagram and, and TikTok, whatever it is, immediately. And so right off the bat, you may choose to start investing in those ad units People have been doing that for a long time. People have been running Instagram ads to their or, or Facebook ads to their uh, Amazon listing pages for a long, long time. They've just never under, they've just never known what's happening. They might get the sale, they might not, but they just don't know. And so, for a lot of people, this is just something you should be doing immediately as soon as you can. And I imagine the Amazon attribution gives all the basic metrics uh, for sellers uh, to analyze the results uh, about sales, about conversions, everything. Is that right? Yeah, so it's actually, if, if you're only familiar with, let's say, sponsored products and sponsored brands, the metrics that you get are more in line with what you get if you're running ads on the DSP, which are a, a lot more. So you, you probably get somewhere between, I don't know off the top of my head, maybe two or three times more metrics to understand exactly um, how your uh, products are performing. And you get ones that might uh, change the way that you understand effectiveness instead of only thinking about sales and spend, which of course you get. You also get to see, you know, how many people just get to your to your detail page. You can see new to brand purchases, uh, etc. And so it opens up the door to a lot more metrics as well than just sponsored products and sponsored brands and display, etc. Okay, sounds very good. So I think I asked three main questions at once. So is it free? Are there any requirements? And what what's the process looks like to apply that to the Amazon store? Yeah, so uh, you can start using Amazon attribution tags whenever you like. The only caveat that you need is, is one, you need to be selling in one of those seven regions that I, that I identified. So the USA, Canada, and the EU five major marketplaces. And then uh, as a seller, you need to have brand registry as well. Um, as long as you have that, Amazon's attribution beta is available for you. Okay, cool. And in your opinion, is there any seller profile uh, whom you wouldn't recommend using Amazon attribution? No, there isn't. Uh, if anything, what I would do right now is just if, uh, a double, you know, really highlight as well. If you sell, um, especially if you sell an item that is highly giftable, that may be a little bit higher in price point that people spend a lot of time thinking about before they, before they buy it, um, Amazon attribution is is made for you. It's made for you to be successful. Um, but really, I would say that there's there's nobody necessarily that Amazon attribution wouldn't wouldn't be very valuable for. Uh, if anything, it's maybe if you don't have a, a you're not trying to build a brand name. Your products don't really have a brand name. But then in that case, you don't have brand registry, and then attribution is not available for you anyways. And so really, anyone who has access to it, in my opinion, should be investing in in Amazon's attribution. Okay. And over time, I know this program runs in beta, right? Uh, so have you seen any updates, any changes by Amazon uh, by developing this tool? No, I, I think like right now, what we've seen is that it's been very flexible in terms of how you add these tags to every different ad unit. I think what will continue is as more and more ad units become prevalent, that you'll be able to add those tags easily. The, the big one that's on everyone's mind right now that's already available and you can think about is TikTok ads, if you're running TikTok ads, you can still add those attribution tags um, so that no matter what new ad unit you're finding, you can still understand how your um, shoppers are, or how your customers are interacting with your page on Amazon. Um, and so I think it'll continue to grow, in my opinion, to be honest right now, the, the fact that it's still called attribution beta, it might, it might almost be time for them to drop the beta at this point and just call it Amazon attribution. Uh, but I think it'll continue to get better as more and more um, platforms for advertising continue to crop up. Okay, great. Sounds really good. And I think a lot of sellers want to put their hands on and, and start using this opportunity. So if anybody has any questions to you or regarding your solution to run everything uh, super smoothly, then what's the best way to reach out to you? 
Yeah, so they can uh, they can visit us at perpetua.io. Um, they can reach out to me directly. Uh, my my email is very simple: JLS, just those three letters: JLS at Draper D R A D R A P E R dot A I. Uh, but really, just visit uh, Perpetua dot A. Perpetua.io. Um, we've got a chat box where we'd be happy to, to share more about how Amazon's attribution beta works and how it works specifically to Perpetua. And uh, yeah, you can reach out to us that way. Thank you so much for coming here today and we wish good luck in your business. Of course, thank you very much. We hope to be able to talk to lots of sellers. I do hope you learned something in this video and uh, don't forget that you can always try Perpetua. You will find the links below in uh, the description of this video. Perpetua is uh, helping to automize Amazon advertising campaigns and uh, probably more than that. So check out their software. And uh, now I would like to invite you to watch other video with Draw from Perpetua, which had quite um, a lot of views. Ah, it was popular. So. Make sure you check, probably you will learn more about Amazon advertising. Bye-bye, see you in the next video.